So then when, uh, at what point did you have, I guess, four stores and what, what is it like to, to scale that? So you go from one store, you have maybe one or two people on your team. Now you have two stores you have, like, who do you hire first? Just someone to, to show the customers that the glasses, Well, they have to be, uh, opticians. They have to be. Well, they have to know what they're doing. So I was not, uh, I was selling glasses, prescription glasses, as well as as sunglasses. Yeah. And the sunglass business was not what it is today. Was it so? So back then, let's say it was ninety ten, ninety percent eyeglasses, ten percent sunglasses. Yeah, so maybe something like that. And now, would you say it's flipped completely? No, I would say that it's thirty percent sunglasses, and the rest maybe forty percent, and the rest is just prescription glasses. Well, of course. You can have prescription glasses and sunglasses. Did you do contacts also, or how did? I did contact lenses as well. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. So contacts hit the market around what time? What? When are we talking? I don't even know when contacts became. My mom's had hard contacts for as long yeah. as I can. Those are the first ones, right? Those were the first ones. Yeah, and you have to clean them every day, and it's high maintenance. Yeah. But so not many people use contacts, right? Day, it's not too many hard contact lenses any longer. Yeah. Plus, why? Because that. Uh, the contact lenses of today are so thin. I use the dailies, and that's yeah. in and out burger. And it's <laughs> in and out burger, yeah. Did the contacts ruin your business, or did was there a difficulty? Or well, that's, that's the interesting thing about uh, if you're around long enough, there's always something new. Yeah. And then it's like you say, "Oh my God, what now? I mean, how can I survive the next wave of um, innovation?" And you always do. What have you seen? So we have, besides contact lenses, is there something else that came in that... Well, they came in the very, very stores uh, that offered glasses in 24 hours. Like the prescription, so they finished the frame, so got it. How would they do that? They would do it in-house? They would do it in-house. Okay. And then you would think, oh my God, if they do this, how can I keep up, keep up? And the beauty of that, at the same time, it kind of forces you to get new equipment to hmm. rise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you improve yourself. You don't even have to worry about the competition as long as you do the proper work yourself. As long as you catch up. Correct. Is it a big machine that does that? No. No. It's expensive. How much is it? How much is it? Oh, these machines are up to about $40,000. Okay. Some of them are less, but the better ones are around forty. And how long do they take to, I guess, cut the glass or whatever they need to do? What do they do? It's, you know, in a sense, it's almost like making a key. Okay. If you align the lens with the prescription, it has to be. Yeah. Because you can't just throw it in there, it comes out. Right. It has to be measured the optical centers of your eyes. Yeah. It has to be set in the proper place. You put it in this key-like machine, and there she goes. But the machines of today are really fascinating. I mean, their uh, technology and their accurate, <laughs> and they're very good. But in the good old days... <laughs> there used to be a machine that was like three feet by three feet wide by three and a half feet high, heavy duty machine. Wow. But you needed a pattern for every pair of glasses. Okay. Very often you had to make the pattern so you would cut the glass by making a key again. But yeah. You needed to make the pattern first. So you've seen what other technologies have you seen come into the industry that have been somewhat disruptive? I wouldn't call it disruptive, but more or less like an enhancement. So most of the lenses that were made were made from glass. Now, real, real glass? Real glass. So if you like dropped them, they, they could... They would break. Oh, wow. And then later on, along the line came this machine that safety hardened the glass and that made it in the, in the event that it does fall or something hits your eye, it will not shatter. It's almost like uh, what they do nowadays with glass that is uh, heat treated so it will not break all over the place. Yeah, so that's part of the thing. And now there's, uh, the new opticians of today, they don't even know about this. I mean, really, they don't even know about this. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs>